Leonard will be in his brown singlet with the red ankle bands. Mark Perry in his black singlet with the green ankle bands. Well, we've talked about 157 pound class, how tough it was, and this weight really doesn't get enough credit for being as tough as it is. We've got eight all Americans at this weight, including the defending champion and a super freshman. Well, that's what we're looking at, the defending champion and a super freshman right here in Letters and Perry. And I think it's a contrast in styles. Letters, very direct, very forward, very good offensive and defensive wrestler. Perry, more of a funkster, well, unorthodox. You, and did you see that low single? Who'd that remind you of? His his uncle. Mr. Perry from Oklahoma State, John Smith. John Smith. You betcha. John it's Smith's nephew. nephew. No, no. Oh. Nothing. Mark Perry's mother is John Smith, the coach of Oklahoma State's no point, sister. No point. And uh, he is a graduate of Blair Academy, New Jersey, one of three Blair Academy no. grads in the semis. We already saw Zach Esposito, and we're going to see Steve Mako. Blair certainly considered one of the premier recruit schools in the nation for the sport of wrestling. Dave Hickson is our referee for this match. Edge, edge! Let's work off! These two have never met as well. So it's a bit of a feeling out process. Guys, let me ask you this. Does Mark Perry draw any strength at all and motivation from what Joe Johnston did in the weight class before him? I, I think there's no question. I think Mark Perry felt very alone in the Big Ten Finals. He was the only finalist. It's the first time Iowa hasn't had a Big Ten champion since 1969. And he said, hey, I don't like this. I don't like being alone. Good point. And so right now, he wants to get in the finals with Joe Johnston. Get that knee good. Don't take the knee out. Don't take that knee out. Break, stay late. Let's go back up. Well, you heard it all there from the referee. Safety of the athlete, the number one concern as they get into these different situations and positions with leverage that could cause injury. But Perry, a beautiful double leg, letters the hammer hips that came down and stopped it. Letters has an all out style. Crowd gets behind him, he likes to score a lot of points. Technically, extremely Let's sound. Let's work off the edge. Come back now. Come Coached back, Shannon. Here we go. Strobel. Here, here. Strobel, an Olympic coach in the 2000 games. That is keeping the pressure on. You know, Perry's being forced to the outside Come where he needs to circle in. more, or, or the official will get on him. I always love that Cinderella story like Joe Johnston of Iowa, but I also like it, guys. I think it's cool when the top four seeds advance to the semifinals as well. It says something about how they all handle pressure. Expected and, and meeting the expectation. Well, look at them both work. That's Letters here who's getting the better position. No. Now he needs to work the head, try to break that grip on his leg. If he's able to do that, he'll score. Not the end. Keep wrestling. Keep wrestling. We got a lot of time. Nothing. Improve. Improve less. Improve less. Come on, guys. Improve. Wrestle through it. Come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Perry's done a nice, couple of nice things here. One, he kept himself close. No, break, break. And immediately as he broke the lock, he came no, up. If he had stayed down, that would have been two. Let's get you quickly to Clint Green choice. Clint. Green choice. Greg Strobel and Troy Letters went to fly fishing. It was at spring break at Lehigh. The two loved to hunt and fish together. Troy said it was too cold. They didn't catch any fish. If you remember last year, the duo went on a similar trip before the NCAAs, and it was lucky as Letters beat Tyrone Lewis to capture the title. The moral of the story, though, I think is that idle time for these athletes during their spring breaks and prior to this tournament. Uh, too much time to think about it. Keep it fresh and get away from wrestling. And it really shows the unique bond between Coach Strobel and, and Troy Letters. What bait were they using? Obviously, it wasn't good enough if they didn't catch any of that. Hey, look at Mark Perry almost sunk that half and drove uh, Troy Letters Sorry. over, but Letters is able to fend it off. But a hard ride by Perry. Come on, Russell, let's go improve this. 
improve. Great, stay late, stay, stay late. Green top. That's it, let's go. Dave Hicks and the referee doing a great job of Hands taking down. command of this match. Again, the number one seed Troy Letters in the brown singlet. And Mark Perry of Iowa. And again, here could be in trouble. Perry, incredibly tough here. He's going to score. And he's holding him. Perry, the freshman. Letters, the junior. Undefeated. Letters, number one rank. Now finds himself in trouble to the freshman three, three, from Iowa. Three. Three. Three points for Perry. Letters trying to reverse it. Still green. Green. Still green. Still green. Keep wrestling. No change. Still green. Green. And with the head duck, you can't use that crotch lift. And there's the stalemate. What a move by Mark Perry. I sat down with Coach Zaleski prior to this match, and he said that there's things Perry does that he cannot coach. His moves, his style, his funk. He's got their legs. Look at that. In they go, and they are tough to deal with. Is that a figure four on the body? That's an illegal move. You might call it a scissors because it's below the knee, but that was close to being an illegal move. How about that? Mark Perry not only getting three points, but building up two minutes of ride time. That has to be devastating. Okay, look the how close he is. Look how close he is now. He brings him back into his lap, gets the two count, gets the three. He gets five counts. He gets three points here. And he's living on, close to pinning himself doing that. This reminds me of Jesse Jansen last year, living on his back to put you on yours. It's dangerous, but Perry knows what he's doing there. Now the pressure falls on the top seed of Troy Letters of Lehigh. Can he come back with one period to go? Can he get back points of his own? That's what he's looking for. You have to think the takedown game, it takes too much time. And he wasn't able to do it in the first period. Right, Perry's not going to give up his base. And he's going he's to make nice the official this. call that warning on him Both before. Let's go. See how he keeps his elbows in? Elbows come in once letters uh, goes after him. You got it, stay away. Left top. Hey guys, we're getting those legs. We got to work out, all right? Both wrestlers. Here we go. We're down, Green. Is Perry Green going into a semi stall? At this point in time, it's the smart tactic to do. You want to not down. be too aggressive and give okay, right, letters something to work with. And what he's doing is playing good defense on the bottom, forcing letters to get overly aggressive. And as a freshman, Perry knows where he's at exactly. He knows what's going on. He knows what the score is. He knows what the official's thinking right now. So he's in great shape. Every time Letters comes under an arm, it's met with a hand of Perry improve, improve. to try and counter. Come on, both wrestlers, let's go! Now, what Letters did do just there was eliminated uh, riding time, but what Greg Strobel wants to know from the official is what in the heck is the bottom man doing, see? And so we're going to hear both coaches talking to the officials. He's also telling Letters, you know, you got to make a choice here. If you can't turn them, cut them, and maybe create okay, something on your feet. Set your hands. Go. Also, ladies and gentlemen, go. Letters will look for a turn. He's made his choice. Is that a stall warning? Yes. 
but it's a little too a little too late right there. Perry thinking he wants to join his teammate Joe Johnston in that championship final. Johnston in the 157 pound weight class. Mark Perry of Iowa trying to do it in the 165 pound weight class. Ten seconds to go. Trying to knock off a number one seed. Ha, he knows he's got it. Celebrating already. Wow. Lehigh goes fishing and comes up.